Hi there, this is Stacy from Triple Flip Grip. Today I'm here to show you how to use one of our new products. It is the Triple Duty Double Sided Tape. Um, it is the same uh, adhesive that, that we use in Triple Flip Grip as well. Uh, so it's super strong and permanent once you press it down. There's actually no need to even use any hot glue in the pinch or on the ends with this product. Um, we've taken this product um, with 40 Canadian accessory designers and they have put this tape to the test doing everything from washing it in the washing machine drying it in the dryer soaking it putting it outside in freezing temperatures um, putting it on top of or close to uh, wood burning stoves um, all kinds of testing has been done and this product um, it exceeds um, all of our expectations and is actually much better and much stronger than the tapes that are currently out there, um, in particular the fillet tape. So this is an extra large um, roll of uh, tape, actually it's 50 meters or 54.7 yards. So it's extremely, um, it's a lot larger in comparison to um, the fillet tape. So you're getting really good value. Fillet tape is sold for $6.75 for this size and the triple flip grip um, version triple duty tape is sold for the same amount. So you're getting quite a bit more um, tape for your value. Okay, so today um, you can use this for all of your crafting needs. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to use it to line your clips. So supplies that you need obviously are the tape, um, alligator clips, scissors, um, you will need to heat seal the ends of your ribbons. so however you do that. Mine is already, um, I've pre-done them and they're all heat sealed. So for a partially lined alligator clip, you should cut your ribbon from between 4.5 to 4.75 inches in length in order to have the perfect length to line your alligator clips. So I'm just going to set these two aside here. Okay, so here's our ribbon and we just turn it around to the opposite side because obviously we're going to put the adhesive on the inside. Um, really easy to use. Find your, here I'm just trying to find my end there. Find your end, which is right here. I'm going to flip it around so it's easier, which is right here. Take your ribbon and your adhesive, line it up, place it all the way down to the end. Um, the scissors, use some old scissors because this is um, rather sticky glue and you don't want to mess up your really good scissors. Actually, I recommend going to Home Depot and they always have packs of scissors on for really um, inexpensive. So I use those for when I'm using my adhesive. We're going to press that down really well um, because this tape is pressure, pressure sensitive, which means that um, if you don't put pressure on it, it will not adhere properly. So that's why it's going to be important when we actually put it onto the clip um, that you're going to be putting applying pressure everywhere, especially on the pinch and on the ends. Okay, so you can actually pre-line um, a bunch of, of ribbon and get them all ready to go. And I usually have like a bag of all of my ribbon done. So when I'm ready and I need some more clips, I can just simply... Um, peel and go. So you just peel it off at the very corner like that and you're ready to line your clip. So what you do is take your alligator clip, place it on the end and the pinch or the um, into the prong I should say, press it down, line it up really nice, press it down, then we're going into our pinch push it into the pinch you can this you actually have some um, movement with this tape as well until you've actually until it's actually adhered and over okay so again you're putting a lot of pressure on all the areas where the ribbon is attaching together here so make sure right onto the ends it's all nice and press down. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now you can use it right away and, and um, put your triple flip grip on the inside of it and get it all ready to go. Um, it's not fully um, cured for, for 24 hours. So um, you won't be wanting to put it to the test until that time, but you can do anything else with it. You can um, apply any kind of embellishments and that kind of thing onto the clip and get it all ready and um, it'll be good to go in 24 hours. Uh, really quick, really easy. You're not using hot glue. 
um, which um, is kind of a pain to use and you can also get burns and that kind of thing from as we all know from hot glue. Um, you can sit um, watching TV in lining clips which is nice you don't have to be standing up at your craft table doing this so it's um, it makes it um, quite easy um, and portable to do. If you're going on trips um, I've, done, I've actually lined clips when we're going on driving trips um, as well and done quite a few clips um, when it's really boring driving. My husband's driving of course. Okay so what I want to show you as well um, so that's the one that, that I just lined and over here are all the ones that I um, that I've tested so these clips um, have been um, frozen, washed, dried, you name it. Um, they're absolutely perfect. I did this about I guess about six weeks ago or so um, so they're absolutely perfect. They stood the test um, they're not lifting anywhere on the edges or in the pinch or anything. I didn't use any hot glue on these. Uh, so this, this adhesive is absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to do a couple of more videos as well. One to show you how to line a headband and one to show you some other new products that we have. And they are um, the circles um, that some of our testers have already tested out for us. And you'll see those coming up shortly. Great. Thank you very much. And um, thanks so much for your support and, and um, purchasing all these wonderful triple flip grip products. Have a great day.